welcome back to Pure Lottie. So today's video is an empties video. I have a massive box full of empties um, and this will be the last one for 2023. So if you want to see what I've got and what my opinions are on all of these, then make sure you keep watching. And if you like today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family, <laughs> hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right. Let's jump in. So before we jump into today's video, I am doing a sneaky little giveaway in this video. So this is a massive thank you to everyone that is supporting me. I actually have five boxes to give away, so I'm doing one on each of my platforms. So make sure you check them all out and enter all of them. Now it is only for Australia. Unfortunately, I don't have the money to be sending internationally. So if you're from Australia, drop your handle down below on how I can contact you, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, etc. Just let me know which ones you're contacting you want if you do win and let me know what was the very first item that I opened in my homemade advent calendar it was just in my latest vlog so good luck but let's jump into today's video so first up is some hair care I've got this pure fusion complex bond repair and protecting um, shampoo so this is just one of the small bottles just wait for that to focus a bit um, this one was does it say this one's a 300 ml one you might be able to see a little bit of pink staining on it um because i actually added a little bit of pink hair dye into it um and that just helps keep my hair looking bright and shiny when i wash it with the shampoo um so i absolutely love this stuff this is what i use unless i'm using a colored shampoo um but this is what i'm currently using at the moment because the hair color that i've got in is like a semi-permanent so i only have to do it once a month whereas normally i would be using a shampoo that has a color in it um and be using that every single time i wash my hair i absolutely love this this is the um brand that i have been using for i think about two years now and I really noticed a difference using this brand. I've already brought a one litre bottle and it's in my shower and I think I've already used like a third of it. Uh, next up is from the same brand. Um, something has leaked in here. I think it's the oil. Um, this is the Fusion Complex Bond Repair Treatment and I've got two here. So I normally go through one of these. They're only 150 mils. Um, I normally go through one of these probably every five to six washes. Um, so I use this in place of a conditioner and that is because my hair does have a lot of like damage to it um, from the hair dye and also from all the meds that I've been on etc. Um, my hair is starting to get a lot better now according to the hairdresser um, and I've got so many baby hairs in it looks like I've stuck my finger in an electrical socket if I don't brush it and like straighten it <laughs> um but i have gone through two of these since my last empties i've actually now gone on to a one liter bottle because i found somewhere that stocked the one liter bottle so now i won't have to go through so many of these little ones and it's like a pump bottle as well so it's much easier you've probably heard me talk about those before because they've definitely been in empties previously okay this is one i think is leaking um this is from center of attention cosmetics and it is her get me off nourishing cleansing oil so I have gone through two of these and I'm actually halfway through a third one already. Um, I have a fourth one behind me waiting for when I need it. Um, I absolutely love these cleansing oils. It gets everything off. It gets the glue. It gets the paint. It gets waterproof products off. Um, it's just absolutely fantastic. Now, I do notice that sometimes these do leak. So these little bits that you're meant to take off when you get them, I actually put them back on and then they don't leak however if you do lay them on the side they do still leak but i have fallen in, the, in love with these and it has taken over all of my like cleansing bumps and everything like that um so i'm definitely going to repurchase them as i said i'm already halfway through my third bottle and i have a fourth bottle up on my shelf behind me um sorry i will make sure i never run out of this but it's just perfect with the amount of makeup that i do um i went through a lot because of halloween um, I was doing a lot of creative looks and I needed a lot for the creative looks. <laughs> so next up is some brush cleaners. So this one is Dirty 30 Cosmetics and it is Dope, the Beauty Sponge Soap. Now I got this a while ago. This was at like the Beauty Expo last year. 
Um, I tried it out and I unfortunately didn't really like it. And so I've been trying to use it as much as possible um, to use it up. And I finally was able to use it up. I actually ended up using it for my creative look brushes because there was lots of paint on that. Um, so I was able to like clean them off with this and then go in with another brush cleaner that I liked once all the paint was out. Um, I just found that my brushes were a lot like stiffer and they just didn't feel like a soft and nice um, using this. It did get everything off, it just didn't leave my brushes feeling nice and no matter how many times I wash them it didn't get that stiffness out of it. Uh, my favourite brush cleaner is the XO Beauty one. So this is the solid brush cleaner. This is like viral and it's always selling out. Um, I'm on my last container and it's currently sold out. So I need to get more. But I have used up this whole thing as well. So this is what I do prefer because it leaves my brushes like nice and soft. Um, I do use just like bars of soap as well if I do run out. But this is definitely my favourite for like my everyday brushes that I'm putting on my face. Because I don't have any reaction to it or anything like that. Um, it leaves them nice and soft and like as though they're like brand new brushes as well. Next up is from Centre of Attention cosmetics and this is the finish her setting spray um i have gone through a whole a bottle of this sorry i have just opened up a second bottle so it is all gone which i'm really sad about because i absolutely love this stuff this stuff smells so good my ride or die used to be the mag fix it setting spray i still like that but this has definitely won me over now when you do get to the very last little bits it is very hard to get the product out because it comes out in big chunks um like big spray dots so what i did was when i opened up my new one i actually tipped the very last little bit into the new one um so i didn't lose any of the products but yeah i absolutely love this i already have a new bottle as i said um and i definitely will repurchase it it's definitely my ride or die my makeup is lasting like all day through hot flushes etc it's making my makeup look so much nicer as well like it's giving that hydration back to my face and the scent is amazing as well it's not overpowering or anything like that so yeah i really love this next up is some lashes so first i've got here from lash vault um these are the Cilla petite lashes so I actually use these for my creative looks um, and yet yeah, there's a lot of paint and glue and stuff on them now. Um, so I think I only got a few uses out of them. I actually didn't like these lashes. I found them very stiff and I wouldn't be able to wear them all day. I would have to take them off. So that's why I actually use them for my creative looks because I don't obviously go out in my creative looks. So yeah, I use them for that. Um, I do have this set from model rock as well this is the dominatrix set i think i've actually thrown the lashes out i actually used this a fair few times for just normal looks as well um but it was like on its last legs so i painted it white so then i didn't ruin a nice set so i've used up them as well then i've got some milani highly rated anti-gravity mascara um i have been using this for months and it is finally like dried up and i'm not getting anything more out of it um i did really like it and i I probably would repurchase it again if it's on sale next up I have three eyeliners here so first I have two L'Oreal Paris perfect slim by super liner um, I think they're different packaging though um, probably got one liked it brought under back up and it was different packaging um, these have both dried up now I actually tried using these for a look and it took me like 30 minutes to get my liner done because there was just nothing left in them I probably wouldn't repurchase these ones um, because they didn't last very long um, I only used them a handful of times so they either dried up or there wasn't much product in them and I have another favorite that I would repurchase over these ones the next one is the KVD um, Trooper Black Liner. So this is the big version. 
Now, I don't think I'll repurchase the big version. I prefer the little mini ones because I don't do eyeliner as much. Um, it tends to dry out before I can finish using all the product. So I think I'm going to stick with the mini ones because I've got the mini brown one still and that is like still going for me. But this one is like all dried up and I open them at the same time. So I prefer the mini ones of these. I'm not sure why there's a difference between them. Um, it's meant to be the same product, but this is like completely dried up and I only use these about five times as well. Um, that same makeup look. I was using these three liners, trying to get my eyeliner done and in the end, I think I gave up and used a brown liner. Next up is two perfumes. Um, now I have these little ones that go in a little container. Um, I have shown you guys them on my channel before and they're from Scent God. Now I used up the Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. Um, that's completely empty. And then the Ariana Grande Cloud. Now I don't think I would buy the Versace in a big size. Um, it was like an acquired scent. It was nice, just not something that I wanted to use every single day. However, the Ariana Grande Cloud one, I absolutely love this one. It smells so good and I have actually already ordered another one because every time I go to the store, it's always sold out so I can't buy the full size. Um, or actually, I mean, trying to get the little middle sized one um, because I'm waiting for the Ariana Grande Cloud Pink to come out so that I can smell that and see which one I prefer before buying a full size. Just because I don't use um, fragrance as much as most people, um, I pretty much only put it on when I'm going out and because I've been so sick, I really haven't been going out. So yeah, I do I really love this one. And as I said, I've repurchased it already, um, but I'm looking forward to smelling the pink version so then I can work out which one I want in the full size. Next up is from LMS and it is this Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. This was actually recommended by a YouTuber friend of mine, um, Jen. I will link her channel above for you. Um, I actually really like these. I've used like a full tub before. Um, I actually did an order and got three giant tubs and they sent me some little ones like in these little travel packs as well. So I've used up this one and now I'm onto a big tub and I definitely will repurchase. I think... I you can probably see in my video, I have like two tubs up there um, just because it came from the UK. So the shipping was expensive if I was buying just one. So I brought three to get the free shipping and then I got a bunch of free goodies in it. Next up is the Ole Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. I have used this up in full, absolutely nothing left. I think this is my second one that I have used up in full of this. Um, I am, or I just opened my third one and I have just restocked one for my shelf so that I have a backup ready to go during the Black Friday sales. Um, but I absolutely love this stuff. I definitely will repurchase. As I've said, I've already got a backup. Um, I really like it. I tend to only use that at night time though, um, just because my skin prefers like less skincare than more. Um, it likes to freak out if I do too much, but this doesn't make me break out. It doesn't make my skin freak out. Um, it's super hydrating and it feels so nice and it like dries down. It doesn't like leave like that sticky texture. Um, if you give it like 10 minutes, it will be like all soaked into your skin. I love the way that it feels. It's like a, um, like a thick, like gel sort of consistency that like melts down into your skin really really nice and I love the smell of it as well and my skin is looking way better using this moisturizer than the other ones that I have used in the past um, so yeah I definitely love this one and then I've got two Lucky Last products now these two aren't completely empty yet but I'm going to be finished before the end of the year so I'm going to add them in here um, so first up I've got the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask this is in Apple Lime now if anybody has tried these these just last forever I swear I have been going on this one for like 18 months now or something. It's just never ending and it's probably not sanitary to have it for more than like 12 months. Um, but I paid for it. It's only me using it. So I'm going to use it unless it does something to me like I have a reaction or something. But I am almost out of this. This is only the second lip sleeping mask that I've ever got through. So I've got through a red one and now this is the green one. So I'm excited to open up another one. I think I'm going to open up my purple one because I have two. I didn't realize I'd brought two different scents. 
um, as a backup for my drawers. So yeah, I'm excited to open a new one. But you can see there is still a tiny bit of product in there. Um, but I'm pretty sure I will finish this before the end of the month, probably in like a week or so. Um, so yeah, I would definitely repurchase this. This leaves my lips like so hydrated. Um, I, because of the meds that I'm on, um, my mouth does get quite dry, um, and my lips get quite dry. So at the end of the day, if I've been out and I haven't taken like a lip balm or a lip oil with me, my lips are like on fire. Like they're so sore. I put this on by morning, it's fixed. I get cracked lips, put this on by morning, it's fixed. Now I know some people aren't like the biggest fans of them. They say that there's ones that work way better, but this is the best one that I found that's worked for me. And the lucky last product is my foundation. So I've probably got maybe one, maybe two wears left of this. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte cover in 110 Rose Vanilla. So this is what it looks like. This is my ride or die foundation. I have not found any other foundation that lasts through my hot flushes, that look as good, that's as good of a color match, that I can do like less to make it less coverage and make it more natural, or I can build it up to make it more of like a glam look. I absolutely love this stuff. I think I've gone through like 10 bottles of these at this point. I have been using it for the last few years and yeah, I absolutely love it. And I definitely will repurchase it I'm sure I've got a backup sitting back there somewhere. I'll have to make sure to make sure that I don't run out before having a new one. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this stuff and it's just my ride or die. Like I, I literally can't find another foundation that will last through my hot flushes and through like Australia's heat. We hit like 105 to 115 um, in summer, sometimes even higher. So to have something that can last through that is pretty amazing. So that is the last of my empties for 2023 and what I think of them. And make sure you enter my competition if you're in Australia. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below because it really helps me out. And if you're new, don't forget to join my family. Hit that subscribe button and change that notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my future videos. And as always, thanks for watching guys.